Ubla Loatak. Kanawuk Pizzi. Today is Tuesday. What day? All day today. Let's be responsible. Always try. Do our best. Cooperate with others. And let's treat everyone with respect, including ourselves. Good morning and welcome to a wonderful Tuesday. We are here this morning to talk about Jim. Who here likes Jim? Yay! Lots of us love Jim. Did you know that there are rules for the gym? Why would we have rules for the gym? I mean, the gym is a wonderful place where we can play and do all kinds of amazing things while well, we have rules. Because, number one and most important, people can get hurt. We've had concussions in our gym and we have had to make rules about how many balls are out and the things we do so that nobody gets hurt. The other thing is that everyone gets respected and treated kindly. That's what our school is all about being the kind and respectful people that can get along when there's sometimes almost 200 of us in the same space. The only way it'll work is if we tweet it so treat each other right. Uh, okay, I almost said tweet each other right, but let's pretend I said treat each other right. Rule number one, feet. What do feet have in these little toes? Well, they could have all kinds of things and they could have all kinds of gross things on the bottom and we're not going to run around in the gym with bare feet. No, bare feet. Socks and shoes, on the other hand, are just fine. No stinky stuff coming off of those feet. Socks and shoes, no bare feet. Now we're going to talk about volleyballs. This used to be a Brevik Mission School team volleyball. We bought these and they're great. There are team colors and they're pretty expensive. Look what it looks like now. And take a look at this. Did you know that we have to treat volleyballs differently than other balls? They're made to be soft on our hands because we use them on our hands and we use a light and delicate touch. But the way that the seams are sealed is very different. Take a look at that. And for this reason, we never kick a volleyball. Now I walked into the gym last week and saw several kids just kicking a volleyball, kicking them away like they're soccer balls. So let's look at a volleyball. See how the stripes go this way? They're not like this, they're like this. And you feel how it's a soft leather on the outside. That's a volleyball. We might be able to get some volleyballs out again but we can't if anyone's going to kick them. So no kicking volleyballs. Got it? No kicking volleyballs. Everyone who could recognize a volleyball might need to help the little kids with this. They might not quite know how yet. And now for a quick review of the evening gym rules. This is especially appropriate for junior high and high school students. Remember, use clean language and if you want to play music, make sure it's clean music. That means no swearing and no ugly stuff. It's okay to disagree with someone, but always be respectful. Don't be harmful and don't make any threats. Take your shoes and personal items home at night. Don't leave them on the bleachers. Be sure to come at your gym time and not before. Kids will not be coming in until your gym time officially starts and gym closes at 11 p.m. at night. Swearing, we don't allow swearing in the gym. If there's some out of control sh swearing, you'll be asked to go home for the night. You've got five minutes to leave the building. And if you don't listen and leave within five minutes, you'll have no gym for a week. Aggression, harassment, or threatening behavior. If you do any of these, you'll be asked to go home for the night and you have five minutes to collect your things, change your shoes, and leave the building cooperatively. If you don't listen to the gym coordinator and you're not gone within five minutes, that means no gym for 30 days. Now let's take a look at these. 
This means sometimes you'll make a mistake. You'll be asked to go home, just go. Sometimes you might make a mistake. You'll be asked to go home, listen, just go. And look at the consequence here for 30 days. We have a consequence for adults fighting. If adults fight, the first offense means 30 days of no gym. And the second offense is no gym for the remainder of the school year. Why? Because they should know better. Drugs or alcohol in the gym. If that happens, the gym's closed for all high school students and all adults for one week, no matter what. If someone shows up intoxicated at the gym or school, they're banned from the building for one year. Children fighting. If you get into a fight in the gym, you will lose gym for one week. If you do that again, you're going to lose gym for another two weeks. And if you do that again, you lose gym for one month. So it makes a lot of sense to not fight in the gym. And if you get angry and swear, just go home. If you're upset and you're aggressive or teasing or threaten someone, just go home. All those rules are really important because our school is a place where everyone needs to be nice to each and every other kid, even if some kids are different than other kids or some adults are different than other kids. Let's all work together to make the gym always be a fun and relaxing place to be. Please follow the gym expectations and have a great time in the gym. Have a good Tuesday, everyone.